What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Ravnica Return to Innistrad Shadowmore Draft here on Magic, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Dot Duel Masters. I'm going to take this Slimefoot. If I had a dollar for every time we opened an Urza's, Urza's Ruinous Blast, uh, we could probably just buy all the Lyras and Teferis we needed, so that's, that's good. I'm going to take Slimefoot because it's just an OP broken card. And because we have Slimefoot, like I, uh, one of the strategies I like to implore when we have cards like uh, Slimefoot or Lyra, for example, is getting the cards that get cards from your graveyard back. So I think there's a card that's like return two creatures from your graveyard back. I would probably play one of those just to double up on Slimefeet. <laughs> oh, Slimefeet. Good times, good times. Oh, Precognition Field, a weight of memory. Stronghold Confessor, probably one of the better cards. Actually, Fungal Infection could be good. <clears throat> well, what's our pick here? I actually have no idea. It's probably just Stronghold Confessor. I think it's probably strong. It's stronger than Fungal Infection. If we were playing blue, we'd take this. If we were playing white, we'd take Call the Cavalry. Do we commit to this guy strong enough to ignore these two? I don't know. All videos are for the YouTubes. What's wrong with you, JC? Come on. Get it together. I actually don't know the pick here. I think this is marginally weaker, but... It goes better with the strong foot. Slime foot. Strong foot? Stronghold. Con yeah, we're just taking the confessor. Oh. Yurigos. Oh, sapperling migration? All right. Oh, uh, Yurigos or sapperling migration? Ugh. Thalad Omnivore is also good. I think Yurigos is stronger. I'm going to take the Yurigos. Eldest Reborn. All right, that's a gem. That's a sweetie gem. The problem is we can get more Sapperlings. We can probably not get that many more Urgaros, but we'll probably get two more Urgaros and I'll feel stupid, so. Infection over Confessor, huh? Okay. Black definitely seems open. You are not wrong. In fact, you're right. So, yeah, I was making the "you're gross" joke yesterday. I was like, "You're gross." I'm pretty sure there's no other way to say it, right? Also, in the chat, you guys should tell me what I should have for dinner because that is a question I, I have. Oh, uh, it's probably ancient animus here. We have multiple guys that are pretty big. I like fungal infection again, but not more than ancient animus. That's a pretty easy pick. There we go. That's probably better. I do like tacos. I also have two new hot sauces to try. Well, one of them I don't have to try. Well, actually, no, I do have two to try. Oh, we got a Yargle. Unfortunately, green and black are not colors with good enchantments to put on Yargle. We're not going to get an on Sarah's Wings or an Arcane Flight in these colors. It might just be Corrosive Ooze. I just don't think there's very good, but very many good applications for him here. Eh, Primordial Worm is probably fine. Actually, I like Short Sword here. Animus does work with Yargle. That's that's not that's not incorrect. I don't know if that's enough though. Yargle. Now I'll just take the Yargle. Uh, 
Another confessor, huh? This is my confessor. Do you ever not play this guy for four? Or does he ever just play this guy for one? I think Candle is probably stronger than Second Confessor, but. Oh, I do like Compass Five Color Slime Foot. That's where I want to be. I do like a Tetsuko as well. So. It looks like this red is open, but <laughs> eh, I'll take a feral abomination. This green is not open. Actually, blessing with Yargle is what? What is that? How much is that? Eleven life? Oh, double blessing? Hmm. All right, now the Yargle might come in. They have Urgros, uh, Yargle, and. Slimefoot for the for the blessing. That's playable. Hinterland Harbor. Okay. Whisper actually could be good here because of the Yargle applications. I also also it's good for the blessing. I mean, four mana for a two-two is not impressed me much, but I also like Mammoth Spider. Mammoth Spider has definitely grown on me, but I'm gonna take the Whisper for now because we do have Slime Foot. Oh, what double Slime Foot, boys? That's pretty sweet. All right. Well, now we have to be in green, don't we? Whoop. Man, deck is deck just started looking real good. Oh, a cast down. I like Death Bloom Talon, but I like cast down better. So I'm gonna put the cast down right here. Thank you, Peter Sponders. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Saltai Brood. Man, it's been a slow sub day too. A couple of resubs, but no, no, no new subs. Chain Whirler. What's that guy go for? Probably nothing, right? Real cheap. Five dollars in real life, seventy-seven cents online. Magic the Gathering, ladies and gentlemen. I I did know you could sub for free if you have Amazon Prime. Hence you can you can do one of these jobbies. Did that not work? Did my prime tag not work? Is it Twitch Prime? Oh, it's Prime Sub. I, all right. I don't even know my own tags. Um, I kind of just want Soul Salvage here, to be quite honest. I really don't like Windgrace Acolyte. Oh, Woodland Cemetery. That's a little fixing. Uh, we don't really need it, though. We're just going to take the Death Bloom Talon. That's a pretty good, huh? And broken Bond is what we want. What do we want? Broken Bond. When do we want it? This specific pack. How do you know if your sub runs out? I think the only way you know is if you just 
you just look and it says uh, you can resub. I, I don't know if there's actually an official way to know. I wish this was a frog sapperling spirit, but that's not a thing, I guess. I'll take the Acolyte here. I don't hate it, especially with Soul Salvage. Llanowar Envoy is fine, but we're not going to really... It's just a 2-3. It's a 3-2 for 3. Twitch sends me an email when sub is about to run out. Oh, interesting. Is that for Twitch... Oh, is that for Twitch Prime subs or just regular subs? I guess it's got to be Twitch Prime because regular subs don't really run out. Rathy, thank you for the two months in a row. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. I'm trying to pick up some Lyra's on eBay so I can actually play some Magic next week, but I'm not going to pay these 30 plus dollar prices. Whatever. I'm not going to play a second Wind Grace Acolyte. Probably not even going to play a first Wind Grace Acolyte. Well, back up to 290, which is, I think it's lower than what we ended with yesterday. So, you know, we got that going for us. Oh, mono rat colony dot deck. I feel like our deck looks good, but we haven't been getting a bunch of... We haven't been getting a lot of playables. We've been getting good playables, though. Does that make sense? Like, we, I don't think we got a good pick in the last, like, seven cards. Yeah, Acolyte works well with Soul Salvage and Whisper, which is why I'm playing one of them, but it's also a Cat Warrior, which is not nothing. I love catching you live, but then get sad at work when the videos on YouTube are already drafts I've seen. Oh, man. That's funny. I hadn't thought of that. Oh, Mirari Conjecture. All right, Sapperling Migration is exactly what we want. I like a Vicious Offering, but our deck kind of wants Migration here, so. Our deck is barely green other than the Slime Feet. Memorial's garbage. Bailoth Gorger's pretty good. Probably just taking Gorger here. I will take any and all Llanowar Elves I can find. I will also play the second Bells and Lock. Bells and Lock. Blessing of Bells and Lock. Because we have, what, five legendaries right now? That's a good amount for lifelink. Lingering butt face. I guess Grow from the Ashes is really the only card we can take here. We can take Voltaic Servant, but that doesn't seem good. I don't hate Grow from the Ashes, but I don't love it in our deck. Lingering Phantasm could be good. We don't have many Historic Spells, though. One, two, three. I can't see us even playing Yargle, really. Hey, Memorial to Folly is actually pretty good. Ancient Animus is pretty good. So is Yavamaya... Shepherd. 
Hmm. Kind of on all three of these. Yeah, I think it is Sapherd here. <clears throat> Chainers, Torment. Oh, Vicious Offering. Perfect. That's actually great for us. Rewarded. Caligo, oh, with Alad Omnivore. That's actually exactly what we want. Everything's everything's coming up Millhouse here. I can take one Stronghold Confessor. I like a Divest. Kind of like Dark Bargain. That seems fine. How long does it take you to draw those bands on your arm before each stream? I How did you even see that? My arm would have to be up here for you to see that. That's really weird. I don't recall raising my arm this high. Oh, maybe I got a drink? Even then, it's still barely visible. That's very weird. Also, it takes me about 45 minutes. Not straight through. You want to do it in sections. You want to have it dry in between. I'm just gonna take this Garna. We have a we already have a grow. Maybe Garna is good in our deck. We just add one mountain. Will there be a modern Monday today? There already was one. It, it's up it went up at eleven AM. How if you were subscribed to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Frank Lepore, you'd know that. But now you're just asking redundant questions. That's just silly. Now you're just making a fool of us of us both. That'd be sick if I was a tattoo artist IRL. <laughs> Mad Hatter, thank you for saying so. I actually got these with a friend of mine. So I had this good friend, uh, his name was Nathan, and we worked at Starbucks together maybe like probably over 10 years ago now, I would say. And uh, it actually was probably... Yeah, it was probably about 10 years ago. Um, and Nathan's claim to fame was that he won, um, it was a reality TV show. It was called Average Joe. He won an episode. He won a season of, of Average. He was on Average Joe and he won a season of it and it was hilarious. And we always used to call, I used to call him Average Nate for that. And, um, so Nathan and I became really good friends. He was working at Starbucks and he was about to move to Chicago. And one of the things he always, we, we got, we were, we were just talking at work one day at Starbucks and, uh. He was like, you know, I've always wanted two arm, three bands on my arm, just three simple black bands. Like we just got to talking about tattoos for some reason. And I was like, oh, that's really funny. Cause I've always wanted two black bands, just two bands. Um, no real reason. They're just simple. I, I think they're aesthetically pleasing. They look good, whatever, just basic tattoo reasoning. And, um, so the next day he comes back to work and he's like, you know what, man, I drew two lines on one arm and three lines on another. And you're right. Two lines was the way to go. That looks better. So before he moved for his birthday, uh, we both went to get tattoos and I, I, I took him to get tattoos and I, I got him, uh, the two arms on his, his right arm. And these, these two on are on my left arm. So, um, we both have them on our arms. So, so that was kind of like, uh, that was like my gift to him before he moved. This deck looks good.
bands of brothers i actually called us brothers in arms which is funny um so similar So we get maybe one coat. We can cut the Garna, keep it to two colors. Um, having grow and one red seems good for Garna. I don't know what double lariato is. I don't know what that means. There's a lot of easy cuts, like corrosive ooze is cuttable. Yeah, sometimes the, the thumbnail for Facebook uh, doesn't actually update. Like the cache doesn't reset or whatever. I don't know how computers work. They're complicated. I think we can cut Glider and add... A glider is like one of our main... One of our, one of our only sources of evasion in this deck, unfortunately. Actually, we have Ergoros and Wind, Wind Grace Acolyte. Soul Salvage is probably pretty okay. Your story, it moved me. Well, you are... You are Jesus' dad, so that's good. It's good to it's good to move Jesus' dad. Thank you. Closers, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Glider's probably the weakest card in the deck, but I just want to make sure. Like we have Whisper, we have Soul Salvage, and we have Garnet to get back things. I'm watching your stream in my car before I have to go into work at Starbucks. Should I try to talk to my coworkers into getting matching? Uh only if they're meaningful, right? Like the point of my story was because he was a good friend of mine. He was moving, and I wanted to get something to remember to remember like our friendship by. <laughs> Blessed stream. <laughs> oh God. Good times. Good times. All right. Let's see how this deck does with the double slimy feet. I want a soul salve and you get back both slime feet. And then they're just going to have to deal with four slime feet. I'll keep this. That's a 3-3 corrosive ooze. That's a corrosive ooze wearing a short sword. Which is kind of contradictory to its own nature, right? Like, the point of corrosive ooze is that it's so toxic, it, it melts any kind of metal or, you know, el element that it comes into contact with. Whereas, it could just wear the short sword. That's totally fine. If you want to make sure your links are up to date, I've tried, Chris, I've tried the debugging and it doesn't actually work for me. I'll try it again, but like I've scraped it a bunch of times and it would still be like blue, black, modern. And I'm like, but I, that was a year ago. I didn't, I needed to keep that. I need to bookmark that link though, because maybe it'll work. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I did it wrong. The corrosive ooze is careful. It can control its powers. Yeah, that's like Rogue. It's like Rogue from the X-Men. I'm probably just going to block. Oh, it can't be blocked. We were a Barnes & Noble cafe probably. I used to work at Starbucks and Barnes & Noble. People used to get mad that we weren't actually a Starbucks and couldn't take their gift card. Oh, because yeah, because it's an independent franchise. Yeah, that's funny. I used to work in a Borders cafe. I In, in total, I've probably been a barista for about five to seven years of my life. The best two drop in the set? I don't know. It's hard to remember them all. I have to pick. Like, are we talking just creatures, I imagine? Stunt, I agree with you completely. This is kind of an underwhelming card, but when it works, it's great. I agree with you. My, Chris, my problem with... I agree with you. So, are you had the same problem? Huh. 
which is why I switched to post posting banner images. I, I don't like posting banner images just because when people put click on the banner image, it's just going to open the picture on like Facebook. Whereas like if you click on the thumbnail of the link, it, it just has the link. You just go to the site, right? So like you're kind of taking the attention off of the link and putting on the image, but that's just me. So I don't know if that's all right. Well, we got mono wizards over here. My one of the best and worst parts about being a barista was that you'd always come home smelling like coffee. You could not get it out of your fingers for days. And the problem is that like within those days, you're just going to work more. So that doesn't actually happen. But yeah, you'd go home and you're like, oh God, coffee. It smells good because it's coffee, but it smells bad because it's part of my body now. Oh, is this run amok? That's weird. Because this guy doesn't get pumped, right? It's not. It's only wizards. You're a, you're a rogue. Oh, you put it on this one. That doesn't matter. It's going to be 8 damage either way. Some say that Frank's fingers still smell like coffee to this day. Well, this is pretty bad on this stupid board, but, you know, what can you do? Wish I had a way to kill your guy, but I don't. Probably should have done this the other way, but I'm not really feeling like I'm in this game, I'll be honest. Frank's finger facts. <laughs> I've never worked at Jimmy John's and I do not, I, I, I still don't eat at Jimmy John's just because I feel like there's better sub options. No offense to Jimmy John's, by the way. Wow. A mono legendary deck. Apparently well, I'll put my arcane wings. Of course we get paired against the mono legendary deck with cast down. I'll let you attack first. Joke's on you. I have a syncopate for one whole mana. Yes. They didn't, but they could have. The barista smell is a blessing and a curse. You are not joking. Boom, 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 boom. All right, well, Valduck's not getting any many buffs here. I, I probably had a sandwich every day I worked. Yeah, I mean, I'll eat Jimmy John's, don't get me wrong. And it's also really, I think it's hard to get it get tired of like just sandwiches, you know? All right, we're at four. We got two turns to, to even the score. They have one card in hand though? Oh, well, it's good. It's playable. Okay, well, now we're dead on board. And that's the end. Okay, we had a good run. So even if we attack with everything, three... Sack, sack, sack. Three, four. Actually, can we gain life? We can.
All right. Well, let's see if we're dead. They got a top deck here. Can we? I have one card in hand. Oh, I'm not dead yet. It's real close, though. My kingdom for like a sapperling migration. Mm, no blocks. I don't have any flyers. Stop taunting me. Look how big this guy is. Oh, give me that life. I wish I could fling this at you right now. That'd be... That'd be good. Didn't do anything. That's the end. We have to die. Why can't I deal with two flyers? All right. Any floats? Any guy? Oh, gives gives reach. That's actually not terrible against them. I'll bring that in. <laughs> this is where we're at in our life now. And then we just submit. Seems good. I don't think we saw any targets for Broken Bond, but we did see uh, a Valduck, so it's possible. We have M19 spoilers already? Good lord. Immediately goes to check Mythic spoiler. They're not there. I don't see them. Corsets aren't dead. Corsets are coming back. Where have you been, Peter Ponders? I'll keep this hand. I think Slimefoot can probably go the distance here. Just commons? Commons are the backbone of any efficient constructed deck. Divest is also pretty good. I agree with you. <clears throat> SD Common Cold. Have a, have a happy birthday, buddy. I think the counter uh, makes this card a little better than it should be. The last standard deck you played ran Squadron Hawk. Good lord, buddy. Get your life together, Peter Ponders. You should ponder keeping up. Omen Speaker. Ooh, that's exciting. Goblin Instigator. Oh, Goblin Instigator is great. Ah, I see. You want to be like this. You want to be old 3-2 Menace Bird. Okay. All right. Thank you. SD Comical, thank you so much for... Man, it's your birthday and I get the sub? Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Salt Eye Brood. 
Just imagine a stack of French vanilla two to four drops and cancel and you've got the spoilers. Oh, man. Good times. But that's not entirely incorrect. So... Oh, uh, I still play Hearthstone, yeah. I, I haven't streamed it as much, but I still I still love some Hearthstone. Oh <laughs> I guess we're just taking five here. Making a gentleman. Next time we can make a gentleman and arbor armament. I wish this untapped too. Like that would just put it over the top for me. I played the overpowered druid deck against you. <laughs> oh, good times. Chris, you can always be my Mike B for Hearthstone. Or you can just move in with me, Chris. That's an alternative. This guy. Make a tiny gentleman. Blessing of Bells and Lock. Or Forest. I knew it was going to be one of the two. Well, we can't block. I guess we're just going to hope we don't get syncopated, but I'm sure we will. Hey, that's pretty good. Shiv and fire. Pew, pew! Oh, sapling migration off the top. Deck hates me. And that's our one red source. So top deck is going to be Garna, obviously. Chris, all those things can come with you, buddy. Oh, that's sad that you would do that to me. Why aren't you bound the ring with the wing grace acolyte? Oh, look, I'm just going to kill that guy. <laughs> Whatever, buddy. Cat floater. <laughs> Whatever that means. Yeah, I'm just blocking the Drake here. I can't. Oh, they're going to run amok. Oh, God, it's going to be disgusting. Come on, cast down. Oh, another little cutie bird. This is literally monoflyers.deck. It's quite unbelievable. Hey, that's pretty good. We were one turn away from that bad boy. Get in there, a little sappy. I do like being able to arbor armament here. Was it three four? It's not. It's not bad. That's gonna be a good one to block. Wow! Look at this double scry. Oh my god. Uh, we're blocking this, the 1-1, one, one, not the 3-2. <laughs> it's 
Yeah, this guy has Minasio. This one doesn't have it. We're probably just blocking the Adelies. Still had all all Adelies. Eh, doesn't. There's no joke to be had there. Oh, this is gonna be a, this is gonna be beautiful. Now we're blocking the crazy wizard. What are you doing, you crazy? Don't have Shivan. Shivan fire. You all get caught up in the Shivan fire. Oh, it didn't have it. Oh, we're looking good. Pretty sure we're just gaining five here. Put you to six. Play a big old feral abomination. Boom, 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 boom. Man, look at that. Blessing and Arbor Armament. Both did, did good. You did good jobs, little guys. You did good jobs. Good work. Yeah, don't don't be putting that one one in there. That's a death. This is nice because even if we draw a land, we still got something to do. So even if you block here and here, you still take three and go to three. Hmm. Well, that was a great draw. Everybody get in. You block here, you take three, four, five, six, and you're dead. So you gotta have something. Seismic Wave, have a good afternoon, uh, or, you know, whatever time it is. Sure. <clears throat> now what do you block? Strong Bad? Still priced into blocking here. You got Shivan Fire 2? You did have the Shivan Fire? You just drew it? You just drew the Shivan Fire? Now you don't have to block. Three, four. They can actually just take four here and then have a run amok. If they drew Shivan Fire off Blink, that's just amazing. I would be impressed. Oh, God. They have it. <clears throat> Two bodies. Yeah, we're totally getting run amok here. It's gonna be miserable. Just feeling bad about our life choices, <clears throat> which are to play Magic the Gathering for our livelihood. If they had it, they just windmill slam it, right? This stupid bird with your stupid frenzy of rage. <laughs> oh my god, this is the most raging bird I've ever seen. Oh boy, we did it. All right. All right. Seems good. Is Broken Bond... Like, the only thing we saw is still one Frenzied Rage. Is that good enough for Broken Bond? 
I don't know. We also only have 13 creatures and one sapperling migration. So 14. I think we need to get soul salvage for broken bond. That seems okay. Actually, divest was good too. All right, we'll bring in divest. Even on the draw, I think it seems fine. Hmm. Let's take out Abomination for Yargle. Take out Garna and the Mountain and the Grow. Add another Forest. And then we'll add the other Blessing of Bells and Lock. What about Yargle Thing of the Life Gain? I just did. And I brought both those boys in. Bah! Okay. This hand's great. Divest into ooze into sap herd. I just want to gain I want to gain eleven life off of a Yargle attack. That's all I really want to do. If we can do that. Does any card fix the mana for Garna? Uh I can't. Oh uh, yeah, we had Grow from the Ashes, which is the, the three mana rampant growth. Which you can kick for five. I'm going to divest you because we have we have plans for turn two. Relic Runner and a Syncopate and a Fiery Intervention. Good to know. They'll be Syncopating our Corrosive Ooze, no doubt. And they will be Firing Intervention our Yargle. They said oops. What oops? All right, one down. Yargle, I've come to Bargle. <laughs> I can't stop laughing at that. It's the most ridiculous thing ever. No, I will not. All right, that's pretty good. So now we know they have land, fire, and mention one other card. I feel like we're in good shape here. Oh yeah, these lands are coming up Millhouse. Dark Bargle. <laughs> oh boy, we're going to be Dark Bargling soon, boys. All right, so they've drawn two, two. They played two mountains, which is great because now we know they have mountains, so everybody wins. Oh, Traxos would be an interesting reason not to make it. They're like, uh, yeah, but Gift untaps uh, the other. The other pump spell untaps, Gift of Growth or whatever it is that that untaps things. I've come to Bargle. Oh, I will put Slimefoot into my hand and Forest into my hand. But, I mean, maybe like maybe they just couldn't have that many untap effects. Maybe it's because one does untap. I mean, I don't know the reason. I can, I can, I can see why that would make sense. You don't want to have all the green tricks just untap the cards because that just seems... Weird. This guy's going to get fire interventioned right in his stupid frog face. Oh, it's a little bird. And fire intervention. Yeah, you, you actually have to. 
You've got to come to Bargle, man. Yep, you got it. Baneslayer Argle. Oh my god. Guy Fieri intervention. This is a good draw. <laughs> Sack your bro. Discard your one card. Well, they're going to have two cards. They're going to play a land and a spell. It's, it's a whole thing. But we do get to get back our slime footy McFooderson. Dark Cargle Dance. Okay, none of these are... This is These do not work the way you think they work. Huh. That's aggressive. But... You know, what are your other options? You're going to have to discard one of your cards anyway, so... Yargle, I'm here to bargle. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that was a good draw. All these draws are so good. Mystic Snargle. That's good. I'm a fan of Mystic Snargle. Oh, frenzied, frenzied Raggio. So many thalids and funguses. If someone asked me if I wanted a dark bargain, bar dark bargain, I might consider the consequences and do it. If someone offered me a dark bargain, I'd get the, <laughs> the hell out of there. Okay, that's funny. I'm a fan. Mm. It's a little late. Fashion late to the party, Adelise. I would like to see the filter lands get a standard reprint. That would be sweet. I don't think they're the best lands, but I do think they're good lands. And I think they could use a reprint. We feel way ahead here. I think this attack was pretty aggressive. There's no double strike cards, right? I'm not going crazy here. All this Yargle Bargle talk makes it sound like we're talking in Murloc. That's, uh, I don't, I don't think you can confirm that we're not. Give me my Merfolk men. And by that I mean Sapro men. Yargle Maya Coast is where you Dark Bargle. This, this chat has gone off the rails. I'm going to broken bond this and then we're going to come at you. I'm also going to put this swamp into play through the ability because why not? <laughs> Good games, Birdman. I always put it in there. If I'm going to win, I'm not going to say it. I'll let them say it and then I'll say it back. Can we? I was worried about all your birds. He was going to put a bird on everything, and I was like, oh no, don't put that. That's too many birds to be putting on things all the time. Did you guys decide where I'm going to go eat dinner?
feel like it's kind of rude that you guys just make me decide where dinner is. That's... Come on. That ain't right. Game 2 of what I want if I attacked my other bird. Hey, buddy, don't blame the birds. Uh, but I hesitated, which is wrong with Red Blue and with birds in general. Eat some bananas on stream. Okay, well, that's a weird thing to suggest. I'm uncomfortable with that. What? You drafted white or black? Guessing based on pack two? Come on, I listen to your podcast. Give me, I don't even know what this means. That's weird. I didn't even see your message. I like when people get upset that you don't respond when you don't even see their message. Come on, man, give me a hint. What? Why? I don't understand what's going on. What are you even talking about? I don't understand. Do we want Garna in here or do we just want the, the Yargle other blessing of bells and lock in here? Hmm. These are the questions we ask ourselves. So I, I feel like I've just had Italian food for like the past three nights because I made a bunch of sauce. I made a bunch of, a bunch of a bunch of sauce, a bunch of homemade sauce, and like I've been using it on everything. Garna might be too greedy with the girl from the ashes. See, that's what I'm talking about, though. If you guys want the perfect example of why I never, you should never mill yourself, and why it's not the same, it's not the same as the same value as milling your opponent. It's because we played Windgrace Acolyte and we milled our single mountain. So. Well, sure, the odds are that we could have milled ourselves closer to some cool card. The fact is we literally just turned off a, an entire card in our deck. So. <laughs> Yargle their mouth out. Dear God, you guys are um, unbelievable. I kind of want to take out Grow. I want to take out Garna. And I want to add Yargle. Milling is the same value of zero. I don't understand what that means, but I, I think I feel like I probably disagree with you. So we got one, two, three, four, five legendary guys now. Blessing is probably just double blessing. It seems like where I want to be. Let's just do that. Ain't nobody got time for no Garna. Right, I agree with you. There's no value. Right, there's no value. There's no value to mill yourself or your opponent. I can agree with that. I'm saying there is a possibility of loss of value in milling yourself, though, depending on what's in your deck. Um, I'll keep this hand based on the fact that one swamp turns it on. So. I don't like Garnel on the on the Splargle here either. Oh my god, you guys are just amazing. I'm so proud of all of you. You're all my little children. No, we're not gonna have the we're not gonna have the milling discussion. I just wanted to point it out because it was a very interesting situation where we played Windgrace Drake, Windgrace Aven, Windgrace Man, and it milled our single mountain, so it actually made our deck worse it literally left us with one blank card in our deck which is bad i see would have been a great turn three but uh you know sometimes you uh sometimes you don't do it Oh. <sighs> 
Oh boy. It's going to be one of those games, ladies and gentlemen. Well, that's pretty good. Now she's dub knights. That's two knights, bro. I'm just blocking here. We have soul salvage. Like, we can get that going. We have two blockers. They're going to gain a million life, but... It is possible. We can't cast down her. We can Vicious Hunger. Oh, that's a good one. That is a good card. Well, she doesn't have reach, so I guess that's good, right, guys? Just gonna throw all the dudes away. Just throw them all away. I have a pump spell, you know. <laughs> sure you do. Sure you do. Dear God. That's not gonna do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <clears throat> so if we just played. Oh, actually, they exiled the slime foot, so we can't even get him back. Yeah. Magic's hard. I mean, the problem is we can't get legendary. We don't have three swamps, so we get legendary guy back. We're not going to be able to play it till next turn. Then we're not going to be able to get the lifelink till the turn after that, so. Can you block here? Yargle, it's time to I have another charge. My hand is just charges and cavalries all day. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. We're having a good time, ladies and gentlemen. Does that keep us alive? You can block, block, block. I think it I think it might. We also have blessing. Oh, they got two more guys from Memorial though. Hmm. So we go block here, block here. We take one, two, three, four, five, six. I think we gotta keep another block up. We gained two from the triggers, but. I wanna make another blocker, but. If we had one more land, it'd be great. Hmm. 
So if we go block, block, we take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think we die. We die if we do that, right? Put short sword. If we put short sword on, we could actually gain five. I mean, we, we take eight anyways, the problem. So if we, if we equip sword and blessing on here to kill Danatha, we gain five from the lifelink. So one, two, three, four, five. We'd go to eight. We'd block a two. And then we take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're, I mean, we still die either way. Um, we can block three guys. We don't have lifelink though. And these are triggers. So they're not gonna have, they're not gonna happen until afterward, unfortunately. Yeah, I think we're like one mana. If we, if we actually could have made a guy and played blessing there, I think we'd be in significant. We don't, she has first strike. What is that? I don't know what that means. I mean, she, this would be a five, five. So, I mean, we would have been fine against Danatha, but. <clears throat> All right. So, again, we're bringing in the Broken Bond. The Vest also seems fine. Two other cards are called the Cavalry. Our deck seems fine, I just don't. Yeah, this hand seems great. All right. Feeling better about this hand. Oh yeah, the city's uh, the golden golden demise or whatever it is. That'd be a good choice. I should board that in. You are correct. It's too it's too late. I'm here to bargle. Don't you guys know how to bargle? Jousting lance against Karistavus matches up well. I'm probably not going to run Slimefoot out because they just have uh, maybe we do actually. This is more power, though. We'll just bring this guy out. They have what? What do they have? Tell me. Uh, I was going to say... Uh, you know what I was going to say. You know. You know what I was going to say. I'll play this guy. If you want to block the fungus... That's totally cool. Eh. No, they didn't want to do that. Oh, that's annoying. It's not that annoying, though, because watch, we just do one of these jobbies. I just want to bargle with you all night. Just bargle with me. We needed that one mana? Are you drunk right now? So question for you. You're at a casual REL event Thursday night draft and your opponent is playing games on their phone while in a match. What do you do? I don't think the, the level of REL matters for that. That's just kind of rude. I would actually be like, hey, can you just focus on our game and play your games in between? My god. Mana would be nice here. Oh, 
night long. All night. All night. So this is what, six? Seven? Put you to one. You're going to spend your turn getting rid of slime, Slimy Feet, McFeederson. If you had a six land, anyway. Otherwise, you just attack with Saperling and free to even... Yeah, that seems good. Now we're just going to get in there with Sappy. I've come to bargle with your little bargle man. Little Bargleman. Little Jimmy Bargleman coming into the coming into the red zone. Look how look how much he's grown up. You got a thing? Huh. Wasn't that cute? Sure. Yeah, all right. <clears throat> That's actually pretty okay. I'm pretty sure we didn't have the win. Like, they could have just blocked with anything. Like, they have three guys, we have three attackers. Like, there's at no point do we have the win there, right? Oh god, we could have killed our own guy. You're right. That is super Oh my god. That's epic, dude. I'm a fan of what you're saying right now. That's amazing. My god. I didn't even see that. I didn't even think about it. Wow. I never think of killing my own guys. It never happens frequently enough. Killing my own creatures never happens. This this puts them into having to uh, to tap out to Blood Tallow Gift next turn. So I wish we had another land because then we can make a guy too. But they're gonna kill our Bargle here. Well, now we get to actually divest, see if they drew a creature. Oh, I guess we just play Wind Grace Acolyte. All right, little Jimmy Bargles getting his getting his wings. <laughs> I don't know what what that even what does that even mean. These are both lethal. One of them floats, so this is not an option for you. Man, killing your own guy with the cast down. What a time to be alive. My god. Who knew? I'm tempted to bring this in, like... I don't think they have that many creatures. <laughs> they have a bunch of token makers.
I'll keep. That was a good one. Are you guys prepared to bargle? <laughs> oh boy. Don't play anything. I asked you not to. I literally said don't play anything. And you play something. What? Like why? What kind of a friend are you? What kind of a friend are you, Gladius06? No blocks. This curve's actually great, so. Yargle, I've come to bargle. Do you guys want to bargle with me? I kind of just want to kill this guy now. Because even if this guy's a 3-3, three, three, the reach is still pretty good. Hmm. Oh, this feels like a slime foot. This feels like a slime foot thumbnail, but I could see Yargle being the thumbnail. This could be a good turn. I think we can take the hits. I think we'd rather just have the board guy. The board guy. I'll also attack with this guy, because if you want to block here, that's totally fine. Look, I don't even have anything. I'm all tapped out, man. This is a good deal. This is a good deal for you. I would take it. This is what we were trying to do. We were trying to get them to have one creature on the board for the Eldest Reborn. Heavens! Oh boy, that's exactly what we wanted to happen. This is why we wanted to trade. The fewer guys you have on board, the better. Gideon's Reproach here, that's totally fine. You didn't have it. I see. I've come to Eldest Rebargle. Oh, dang. It's still a two for it's a three for one still. We got an invoke, a dub, and an Avon Century out of the Eldest Reborn. That's pretty good. Ancient Animus on Yargle. They play one guy next turn. We get to Ancient Animus and kill it. And then attack for a basically a million. Oh my god, please. Please let me Ancient Animus. Or I can Ancient Animus Vicious Offering Yargle Bargle. This is, this is definitely a Yargle stream. Hashtag Yargle stream. Oh boy, what's happening right now? Look at this big idiot. No plays. All right. Okay. Well, we're going to alpha here. I mean... I assume you have Blessed Light. Yargle does not exist on this. Oh, interesting. Okay. I accept... Fair. Is your hand two charges? Charge, charge, kill Yargle? No? Okay. I think we're a little I think we're a little ahead here. Get kicked on. 
They could have charge as their last card, so I don't really want to uh, animus here because then this guy becomes a four. Actually, this guy becomes a four. This guy becomes a three. So I think that's still correct. Yeah, even if charge is your last card, this guy still dies as a three, four. Oh, we're going to do it. Oh my God, it's going to happen. The excitement is so real right now. Can we kill you? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I go. I want to do it. I think we just do it to do it. No, it doesn't even make any sense. It's so bad, right? I wish I gave trample. Whatever. I'm not gonna do it. Oh, we could have had it though. In spirit, we had it. Oh, did you have a host? Oh, just a little chargy. Okay. Uh, it is worth it, but we're at 13, so we're not at any risk of dying. And, like, we can probably get better value out of it. I'm, I'm not saying that... It's your boy Yargle coming back to Bargle. I <laughs> can't. His memes are too strong, man. Yep. 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 This is not going to end the way you want it to, unfortunately. Three, four, five, six. Unfortunately, we can't kill you. I don't think this game is going to end the way you the way you want it to, my friend. Dude, Yargle's doing some work. That's a 10-4, good buddy. Or do and watch chat explode. These are our options. That is correct. These are your blocks, huh? Okay. <clears throat> David, we're not, we don't care. We're not here to kill our opponent. We're here to do cool stuff. Like Yargle Bargle. And a land. Let me do it. Don't concede. Just let me attack with this Yargle. Let Yargle win the game. Dang, they didn't want to let Yargle win. Yargle won. <clears throat> wow. Boarded out Garna, brought in Yargle. Seems good. <laughs> We're not here to kill our opponent. We're here to do cool stuff like Yargle Bargle. That's exactly, exactly. Oh, keep any two lands in this hand is gravy. Whatever that means. Weird thing to say. <clears throat> How about a two drop into land land? That's all I want. It's not a lot to ask for, I don't think. Well, I accept your two mana spell. That's close. Hmm, I don't know that one. 
Did anyone else's Amazon Echo go off right there? Because mine did. I'm going to kill this because I don't foresee... If we draw lands, I don't foresee another chance we're going to have. And I don't want to take a million from that guy, so... Oh, thank goodness. Living the dream. All right, we did it. <clears throat> All right, we. This is a real uh, one land, and we're we're good in hand. All right, that's not it. It's not the land we're looking for here. Yeah, right. That's fine. Eh, I accept. Where's my Arbor Armament? Is that what that's called? I don't know what that card's called. We can either Dark Bargain or make a guy. Both are fine options. Probably going to bargain here. Gargle, I've come to Bargle. No, not Ancient Animus. The Arbor, the one, the plus one, plus one in a counter one. I know Ancient Animus. Good card. You guys can hear the hunter yargles. So it's either Gorger or Confessor. One is a this guy's probably just better here, right? Oh god, we cast a kicker. That's not what we're doing. All other guys have lifelink, so that's pretty cool. This seems pretty good for us. So it's a 5-5. Five, five. It's going to live because they already dealt their damage and we still get to kill Danatha. Wow, that's great. <clears throat> Vicious Offering into Danatha for a Blessing of Bells and Lock? Wow, that was fantastic. That's a deal I can get behind. Yep. This is an annoying combination, but... Oh, that's that's not great either. So now they attack for five in the air instead. They're at twenty two as well. This three lifelink is really problematic, unfortunately.
No, just take a million. All right. Where's the Thalid Omnivore when you need it? That card would be great here. Sack three guys. Gain two or six nine. nine. Make it a huge, huge. All right, never mind. And dead. Okay. Yep, seems good. <clears throat> All right. Um, definitely bringing in Divest here. Broken Bond didn't see anything for Broken Bond. Arbor Armin. I guess we don't have this main deck. Could be good. Would have been good there. It's basically just removal. <laughs> um, here are four. Mm, I'll keep this hand despite having six drop. Yeah, they went to six. Glider can't block, so I'm not a big fan of Glider. Man, we have so many good three drops, too. At least we hit a land, so now we can play Gor Gorger into Eldest Reborn. Well, that's going to be what they sacrifice, unfortunately. Oh, that's actually great. Wow. We couldn't have asked for that to go any better. Huh. Well, isn't that special? Are we going to lose to to the Yargle? I think the answer is yes here, unfortunately. <coughs> this jousting lance on a Yargle is a two-turn clock. Ooh, boy. That's a big boy. I'll take 11 here. Oh, that makes a lot of blockers. Um, Skittering Surveyor gets us a land to guarantee us. Yeah, that's fine. Let's do that. Do we play Whisper instead? I don't think so. I don't care if we actually can block with this guy, right? I'd rather have the Whisper just in case. Like, if we can go Guy Guy, sack them both to get back either Slimefoot if they kill Slimefoot or Bailoth Gorger, which is pretty good. I mean, I don't think there's a way to give this guy Trample, so I'm not going to be too concerned with that.
Yeah, that's fine. Cast down you. So we can make one guy now. So now we go to 13, which puts us out of range. So I don't think they can actually attack anymore. Holding back the Yargle McBargleton. Oh, got him. All right. Well, this is a real thing. Whew. Coming down to the last game. I actually like this because of the divest. And I think if we hit a green, we're in good shape. If we hit... There's a bunch of cards we can hit here that make this fine. Feeling good. Do we care about turn two to vest? Or turn turn one to vest? Or how do they do it on turn two? Because like, what are they going to play that we really care about? Like, Danitha, I feel like, is the biggest problem. I don't know what we're going to draw, so I'm just going to do this now. Mm, yeah, that's what we wanted to hit. <clears throat> Hand is good, but they have no white cards. Maybe it was Skittering Surveyor there. Swamp Lance, all right. The arena's full of Frank's getting ready for the last match. Opponent looking a bit on the ropes. Let's see who can yargle first. <laughs> nice. It's all about them yargles. <clears throat> Get in there, little guy. So planes, sanctum spirit. And this is how it ends. We just don't hit our land drops. The problem is they have Vicious Offering, so like they could just kill this in response to us. Uh... Like if we try to Ancient Animus on their turn, they just kill it. So I'd rather just get rid of it. I mean, Thal of Omnivore, if we can hit our lands, like 3, 4, 5 is good. That's not terrible. But they do have Vicious Offering, so they just trade Skittering Surveyor for Vicious Offering. <coughs> yep. This guy's also not uh, incredibly easy to deal with.
This is a very easy trade for them. Surveyor and offering for slime foot. No? Hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're way too far behind, unfortunately. All right. So we may have just Vicious Offering in hand. We're also dealing seven a turn, which is pretty stupid. <laughs> Fashionably late to the party. So just block here and then vicious offering here. Five, six, seven. We're not dead yet if they do that. And let's see if it goes according to plan. <laughs> yep. All right. Lifelink Arbro doesn't do anything because they have Vicious Offering, so they just kill it in response. Oh, just this guy. Okay. Like, we actually just have to keep mana up here. Because we have to go sack, sack, sack to gain four. And then we just have no board. <laughs> I guess we have this guy. <laughs> that guy's a board, right? I mean, if they don't have a removal or a creature, I think it's... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, I wanted to go on this guy. That might make the difference. Oh, that was so. That was just a misclick. Still wish I had a fling. Yeah, they, there's no chance you draw nothing, unfortunately. <clears throat> oh, man. <clears throat> Cast down. Also, land is not terrible for us. <laughs> sure. That's oh, so good. <clears throat> so good. All right, we hit two lands there. I guess that's good. I have no idea. This one stupid bird, man. Huh. This could actually do a thing. <clears throat> I 
All right, fingers crossed. Don't have a guy. Oh, God. So brutal, man. I think we're still in this game. Oh, that was so bad. Yeah, we should have done that. <laughs> that was so bad. We should have actually attacked. We could have killed both guys. Yeah, that was pretty brutal. I think we're still in fine shape, though. Like, the blessing is good. You got it. Oh, that was good. That was good. Yeah, we should have attacked there. I get it, guys. I, I understand. I think we're still completely fine. <laughs> Uh, less fine now. Less fine. Now we have to jump block. But, like, jump blocking is... It's kind of our specialty now because we have infinite blockers. Well, probably not playing that. All right, so we're at 10. Maybe we do play Dark Bargain. No, we're just going to make a guy. That seems good. What is that? Vicious Offering number four? Wow. <laughs> the Quad of Vicious Offering. Oh, well, I can't... <clears throat> oh, that's pretty good. Huh. I don't want the land. I actually don't think I have to take the land here. I think I just take the two spells. Like, we can take three. We're at eight now, so... And we don't even take three because they lose their thing, so... Yeah, if we lost the game, it's because we didn't attack with our guy, but they didn't play anything, so... I'm actually going to Yargle here instead. Because if the game gets... If they don't draw something to kill Yargle, I just want to win with Yargle. That's some style. That's some style points right there, boy. This has been an epic game. They have one card. Oh, that is not it. Now now it's better. <clears throat> oh, so close. First strike. That's awkward. Yeah, the ooze is real good. Like, I'll attack. You can block. Seems fine. God, paying costs is so scary. 
Uh, we we don't have two. We don't have three greens, so we couldn't have kept up this and played the two creatures. And I just rather have creatures on board at this point when they're at four. That is not how forests work, unfortunately. If we alpha, they block here. They take five. Oh! <laughs> Yay! I've come to Bargle. Got him! Wow, that 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 draft was amazing. All right, on, on that note, thank you guys so much for, for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons and uh, check out my Patreon. It's patreon.com slash It's right in the description. You can click on that link and I'll see you guys next time.